What's going on guys, Elshanko here and welcome to the second episode of my Sleeping Giants save with Red Star Belgrade. Now, Europa League draw has been made and we've got Olympic, who are a Bosnian team, it's Olympic Sarajevo. Um, they don't look very special, I think they've only got one guy that's not um, greyed out, so I think we should be okay with this one, hopefully. Um, friendlies have been mixed bag, we've won couple of them quite big, lost a couple of them, um, not really got much to say about them to be honest. Um, transfer wise, so far what we've done is we've obviously sold a couple of players, so we got rid of Dusan Andjakovic for nine and a quarter thousand and we sold Mamadou Mboji for 88,000 as well, so we brought in 97,000, we spent nothing. Um, but we have brought in five players. Alessandro Del Piero, obviously now this, everyone knows who he is, but he's got a very good rating for our senior team. He's going to be our set-piece expert, um, and he's going to be playing up front. I know he's 40 years old, but that doesn't matter. Um, also signed experience in Nikola Zagic, Serbian international striker, obviously played in England. Um, six foot eight. you can't argue with him. Well, I wouldn't want to argue with him, but... Uh, Marius Nikolai also signed, um, 34 years old, experienced player, uh, Romanian uh, striker, so we've played in national experience again, so um, that's a good um, trio of signs there. Dejan Lekic also signed, um, again, Ser Serbian player, striker, fairly superb rating as well, so I mean, he'll be in the squad as well. Uh, and finally, Nemanja Latinovic signed, um, he's a hot prospect. Um, young backup goalkeeper for Kahneman so um, we're currently in the process of making a bid for Luka Markovic but I don't know whether it will go through or not he's got a total baby face in that photo um, currently at Napredak Reserves so I'm hoping that we'll be able to get him he was brought to me by um, the news item that said that we're, we're after him <laughs> I was like who is this guy that we're supposed to be after um, so I looked at him and I was like ah we'll give it a try we'll see what he's like um, but the bid's in, but I don't think we can afford them. But we'll certainly keep them on the short list um, and we need to actually get a scout report on and see how it really does. So that's, that's the transfers. Now, obviously, we've got the two Europa League games, which I'll do um, fairly, in fairly rapid succession today, hopefully, uh, get both of them up and then uh, start off with the Novi Pazar game. So hopefully, that, that will be good. So looking at the side that I've picked for today's game. Just really based on fitness, and this is probably near enough, as close as damn it, to the best team we can put out there uh, at this present time. So we've got Kahneman in goals, back four of Petkovic um, and Ristich at full backs, Pavicevic and Jovanovic in the centre. Um, we've got Mitchell Donalds, the ball playing defender, uh, sorry, ball winning midfielder, you know, uh, Grujic as the advanced playmaker, and Roman playmaker is. Plavsic. Midfield, I'm still not convinced that, but we'll, we'll work on that throughout the season. And up front, Del Piero, uh, Nikolai, and of course, Luka Jovic, our uh, baby faced assassin, who hopefully will provide great goals and ammunition for this season. As you can see, the conditioning um, is good, but the match sharpness isn't. But that's because we've only been playing friendly, so we're trying to get as many people. Um, games as we can so hopefully now that we're starting the season um, these things should improve Hugo Vieira is injured now he's expected to be 2-3 or three weeks out with a twisted ankle so I'm hoping that he'll be back soon as well to give competition for places up front um, apart from that yeah, we're all good to go um, playing fairly don't want to play fairly standing no I want to play actually attacking uh, because I want to go out and try and win um, I think we need to try and win these games, especially in the Europa League. Um, cause obviously, that's big, um, big money. Now you can't all be ten and nine, so you can just have whatever number it gives you. I'm not really bothered to be honest. Uh, in terms of numbers, uh, I don't think that makes much of a difference um, to the actual proceedings. So teams are warming up. So this, <coughs> obviously. Red Star weren't in Europe last season because they were uh, serving an international ban, I think. Um, so this is really important for us to get some money in. Um, it's only Europa League, but 
you can still it's European competition. So I would I would love to um I would love to be going through so let's see there's no concerns, yeah yeah. I'd love to go through here and um see if we can qualify and get more obviously more games for the players, but it's um more importantly than that, it's all about getting um standing up and getting more money uh, for the club. So right, going right into the team uh, assertively and we'll say show us what you can do and try and give them my usual uh, pep talk to say basically I've got faith in you that's what I do in most of my saves um, try and get, get them looking happy and get them going that they were smiles on their faces right so let's start here we go Stefan I, that must be a made up name there just off of Begovic, I think it was. I mean, that must be a made-up name. You can't have a name like that. Um, just, just double check, guys, that the settings are. Yeah, put on goal action, so we get the offside decisions and everything like that as well. Okay, right, so five minutes in, nothing much happening. Um, players, a couple of them looking frustrated, which was really concerning. But we'll see. Again, nothing happening at all. I thought we would come here and absolutely, you know, well not annihilate them, but you know, with the attacking formation that we've got, I thought we'd at least have a chance. You know, so here we'll pre I want to press them to press up really high, um, and they don't appear to be doing that. They're just standing off it. Right, here's Stefan for them. To Zupic, great tackle in there, Jovanovic. What a player, and good ball, Jovic. Nikolai, what can he do with it? He's put a nice chip ball through. Jovic, great control. Can he? Oh, look out, look out, look out. Oh, he's got a chance. Oh, chance. Oh, that wasn't far away. And I'll tell you what, guys. This uh, combination up front with Nikolai, Jovic and Del Piero, I've got a feeling that it could be um, quite legendary this season. Um, I think, judging off the pre-season, when they hit form, they really do hit form. And, you know, I mean... I think with the other players coming in as well, I've uh, got another couple of striking options. I, I'm not so sure about midfield though. I'm thinking I might need to change that up a bit, try and get a bit more fluid in there. Because the players we've got in there are very much average. I mean, Ristich, Donald and Kruzic. Um, obviously we have got other players, but they're, most of them are loaned out. Uh, like Savra Moski. Um, now, I think Gavrich is okay, but I, I just think that the midfield needs looked at if we're going to have a title challenge and a European challenge this season, which I mean, that's what the board want. The board are wanting um, us to do do certain things and they want us to win the league and get to the final of the cup. Well, let me tell you, if we can't score in the first 25 minutes here, we've not even really had much of a chance. Um, it's been a pretty boring live come, to be honest, um, so far. I hope it can kick it into action. And uh, I think we're going to do now, I'm going to have a wee word with them and just say, Come on, guys. Uh, let's have a look. We're going to do passionately encourage, try and encourage them to do something, anything. Because at the moment, there's just nothing happening in, in the game for either team. So um, I would be looking to change things around at half time, certainly, if it continues in, in this vein. I'm not a manager that sits on his laurels and just watches his team slumps. Let's see, there's Nikolai. Good ball. Del Piero, what can he do? The little genius. Good ball out to Petkovic. Go on, Petkovic. Run him. That's it. Take him on. Great ball in. Jovic. Oh. I don't know why. I thought that was in. I thought he was going to just take that and swerve it in. But obviously, it's, this isn't FIFA. <laughs> it's typical that you sometimes get on FIFA. So let's have a look. There's a ball through. Defence has to deal with this. Great challenge, Jovanovic again. He's looking like a really solid defender. There's a ball through from Del Piero to Jovic. And the youngster has made a complete and utter hash of that. I think his first attempt hit the goalkeeper and his second attempt hit the bar. And that's disappointing. The young lad with a lot of potential and a lot of uh, Serbians are thinking that this guy's going to be their, basically their Messi. So... 
We'll see what happens. Here's Ivanovic. What a great ball out again. This guy's looking top and dollar. Here's Petkovic. What can he do? Out on that right wing. Can he do it? He's, can he cut inside? Good. Oh, that's a shock in the ball. And really, that's disappointing. I mean, I know he's not got a left foot, but that's awful. Um, expect better than that at this level. And the passing's pretty poor, to be honest, from this team. Um, and it's the final ball. But now what can Petkovic do? And, oh, again, it's wasteful. Now do something. I'm sure that was out, but I'll take it. That'll do. We got the breakthrough. It's an OG. I don't care how that ball did look out to me. In my opinion, when, when Petkovic got this ball through, that to me looked out, but we'll take it. And the presence of Jovic was enough to make Rovkinen put the ball into the back of the net. And it's 1 0, and we got away with that one. And now, what can we do? Del Piero with a corner. So that's what we've got with Del Piero as well. He's a set piece expert. So hopefully, he can provide something from that. Um, Pekovic, Donald. Ball out. Oh, of course, Pekovic isn't there now. As he's sort of dawdling over there. Do something. That's it. Great ball. Go on, Pekovic. Run on. Good ball in. Jovic, and it's two. That's it. That's what we want to see from Luka Jovic. What a finish from two yards out. He took it so stylishly. Um, Petkovic with a good ball. In. I thought he was going to take them on, but great ball. Into that area of indecision. And Jovic was just there pouncing like a panther. So 2-0. Approaching half-time. Quite happy with this, the way it's going. Um, guys looking complacent now. I don't see why guys really complacent in our European game. Um, unless it was obviously we were taking a foot off the gas, but I am not that type of manager. I'm not going to take a foot off the gas in this game because I'm a two legged affair and I don't want to be going over to Bosnia um, needing an away goal. So half time has been reached and we're 2 0 up. Happy with the lads. Don't want them to get complacent though. Um, keep focused. Stick with your stick to the guns. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to change it in midfield. I'm going to take off Gruzic. In fact, no, I'm going to take off Mitchell Donald because um, he's a ball winning midfielder. And bring on Lazar to Fedzic. He's a more defensive player. And I'm going to make one more sub at half time. And that's going to be Dejan Lekic coming on for Marius Nikolai. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Um, I just think that, you know, he needs game time as well. You know, the other three, are, the front three are our main three, but we need to keep them off of the league, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Here's like, oh, his name's all in capitals. I don't know if I like that, that kind of attitude. Um, Restitch. Good ball in. Lekic. Well, capitals, he's shouting at me. Here's Petkovic. Can you put the ball in? Put the ball in. Oh, who's attacking that? Someone should be, there's three years in the box there. Someone should be going for that. Boy puts a great ball in and you just don't even bother your backside going for it. That's just no one. Right. Guys are looking complacent. I'm not keen on that because that's exactly what I say. Don't get complacent. I have time. That's four of them now. Looking complacent. What will happen now? Okay. Uh, let's see. Team talk. Concentrate. Don't want to take complacent because this could go any way, shape, or form here. Calmly concentrate. Just want them to just stick to their guns, stick to how they're playing, and we should hopefully win. Time's ticking down. Now it looks like they might have a chance. Simovic. Sherlin. There's a ball, ball over the top. It's going to be defended again by Jovanovic. Now this guy's been immense. I think he's been my player of the match so far. Without a doubt. Pazizovic. Good ball over the top for Lekic. What can he do? He's got it. Can he cross it in? Great cross. Oh, again. Just needs a wee flick there and that was it. Pass Rudzepi. So all we need is just a wee touch in there. 
from a Jovic or whatever, and that was a goal. Poor kick out by the goalkeeper. Finds Ristich. He's got man inside. Oh, he's going he's gonna outside. What's he got? Can he get past him? Good ball in. And there's Del Piero, and that is three, and that should be game over. Absolutely fantastic goal. Uh, I thought he'd, I thought he would have passed it inside there, but he kept on running and put in a dangerous cross right across the six yard line. Watch this, right across that six yard line, and yet again, there's one of our strikers popping up to score, and that's three 0 And very, very happy guys, very happy with that indeed. Right, so let's look to make one more the final substitution there. So let's see who can we bring on. I want to say I'm going to bring on Sornich. I'm going to bring him on for Del Piero because uh, he's done, he's run his race now. Quite happy with that. He's played well. Um, really happy. And let's just get on with it. Let's say uh, we're doing really well. Three 0 up. First leg of the European uh, Europa League tie. Quite happy. Just as long as everyone stays confident and we can keep. A clean sheet, we should be all oh, systems good. So at the hour mark, it's still 3 0, and they're, they're making substitutions, but now they must be in a, a position of saying, Oh, to hell with this, let's try and get an away goal um, and go back to Bosnia um, and try and beat us over there. But but we've, we've played really well in this game, really happy. Um, we've not picked up a booking either, and the conditioning's not too bad on most of our players, which I was a wee worried about because our pre-season games had been kind of you know guys getting conditioning down to fifty-one percent and things like that. Um, I think in the earliest game, I think we're down to like forty-three. Uh, but here's a chance for them. You know, they, it's well cleared again. Jovanovic again with a clearance. I mean that was just brilliant. But they've got it back in. Just so Stefan, ball in and it's a goal. Zupic has got the goal. It's three one, and that's disappointing. That is very disappointing from our, from our point of view. I really thought that we tell we held us out, but Stefan with the ball in, we didn't close him down quick enough. And there's a one guy against three. One guy against three, and none of these pick him up. None of these pick him up. That's a disgrace. Right. Okay. After me praising Jovanovic. Then between him, Pavicevic and Pekovic, just left that guy. Just left him in the middle all on his own to slot home and make the score 3-1. But overall, you can't be concerned or that concerned when you're winning 3-1. But it's not ideal. What it has done is it saved us a bit of money on uh, clean sheet bonuses. But um, if you really want to look at it from a selfish point of view uh, for the club. but um, yeah, we'll take 3-1 if it indeed it finishes that way. Um, it's been a kind of hard-fought game. We've not done badly at all. Um, two assists from Petkovic, one from Ristic. Uh, goal from Jovic, goal from Del Piero and an OG. Um, we'll take that quite happily. Uh, and this should be the final highlight of the game. Good tackle in from Ajanic again. Superb performance by him. If he doesn't get man of the match, there'll be an inquest. Here's Sonic. What can he do? Good ball. Plavsic. Ah, oh, just hit the thing. You know, you're in the last few seconds. Just hit the thing. You know, and, and who else but Ivanovic to get the last touch of the ball? It's three one. Petkovic has been sensational. What? See, oh, you're joking. Petkovic got man match. I know mean, it's still our team, um, which is really good, but at the same time, um, that had to go to Ivanovic. I mean, he was immense then. I know Petkovic got two assists, but end of the day, we'll take that. We'll take that 3-1 win at home. Quite happy with that. <clears throat> so, just looking at the schedule, guys. I think next week is the Olympic game. So, what I'll do is I'll hopefully get that up sometime today. And then the next game after that will be Nori Pazar game. So, thanks for watching and um, hope you enjoyed that. And hopefully that will be us on our way now towards the Europa League next stage. So, 
I'll see you guys soon. Cheers, guys.